Hey, what's going on guys? So today, I'm going to be doing an all guns review for Craftopia. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into it. So, I have almost all the guns here with me on my body. I have all the uh, assault rifle ones. I have, the, uh, I have all the rifle ones, like the number one. This is a shotgun one, assault rifle one, rifle one. And then I have shotgun two, assault rifle two, and rifle two. They all use the same types of ammo. And all of these were provided by Kagami on the Discord, the Craft Up Wiki Discord, which is in the description of this video. Um, I don't think she'll be providing for you guys, but just want to give credit to her. Um, and then we got the flintlock carbine, and there's one more gun that I will be showing you after the flintlock carbine. I just have to use the flintlock carbine to craft it. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into this. So here, before we get into anything, I want to show you guys how to craft them. So you craft them here in the skilled blacksmith. I'm pretty sure they only show up in the skilled blacksmith. They might show up in the other one, but I would just recommend getting a skilled blacksmith in the first place if you're going to be getting into guns at all. Um, so we have the first ever gun up here, the flintlock carbine, which you craft with bolts and springs. Then you can make use the flintlock carbine to make the flintlock revolver. Then you can use that to make the rifle one with the mechanical parts, the hardwood, and the gun barrel. Now the gun barrel is made down here with heavy steel ingots. These guns take a lot of metal to make with the gun parts and all this stuff. So I recommend getting a hefty supply of that first. Obviously I have one of my very, very loyal helpful helpers supply um, me with this. But uh, for you guys, I mean, I think it's pretty difficult to get this stuff, but it's not, it's not impossible. If you play the game a lot and you like the game, I think it's worth it, more or less. Uh, at the end of the video, I will give you, be giving you my full opinion on whether or not you should make these guns, um, considering their damages and how long they take to get. I think it's cool to have them, but I'm not really sure if they're like 100% worth for fighting bosses and stuff. I guess we'll figure out at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, so let's move on. So we have the rifle one, which is made, or assault rifle one, which is made from the rifle one and gun parts. Then we have the shotgun which is made from rifle one and gun parts. So I'm pretty sure rifle one is like a base rifle and then you get to like upgrade it or like with the gun parts, you get to choose which one you want to get here. And then the way you get the um, number twos is you get the rifle, right? You get the gun parts and you get the token of the dead spirit, which I'm pretty sure is from the Reaper um, boss, the blue Reaper, which is what my main weapon is from. If we're here, the token of the eagle lion, I'm pretty sure, as you can see, is from the uh, griffin. And it's the same thing with the assault rifle, you get the bioplastic as well, aluminum ingots. It's pretty easy to figure it out. And the executioner is obviously from the executioner. Um, hardwood, gun parts, yada yada. All the ammos are also down here, you can craft them pretty easily. Uh, there is a new type of gunpowder and a new type of bullet material. Uh, all very hefty in, in ingredients, black gunpowder, and then the rare metal, and the, you know, it's kind of a bit much, but I don't know, maybe it's worth it. Uh, so, get the assault rifle bullets, it's all just bullet material and bullets. Uh, the shotgun uh, bullets do take paper, though. And that's basically all you need to know for crafting. So let's, uh, let's get on to the guns. So now that you know how to craft them, Let's, uh, let's show the first one in action. So, this is what it looks like on your back. It's equipped right here. And you have to make the ammo, as I showed in the crafting video, or crafting portion of this video, um, to be able to fire it. It works just like arrows, and where you equip it in the arrow slot. Um, and you basically just reload the gun. So, I already have it loaded. Or I think I, do I? No, we don't, hold on. So we have to unequip it re-equip it, and then reload, there you go, and we just shoot, and it has a base damage um, of 300, at least his first flintlock does, on training dummies, or just any enemy in general, I don't think there's any resistance to guns, so the first flintlock does 300 damage, uh, I'm pretty sure it can shoot from far away. Yeah, it's almost like a slug. I wonder if it loses damage like that from that range though. It does lose damage from range. So, assuming the further you get close, 
the more damage it does. So that's 300 right here, right? And then we back up a bit more. 120. 20. 90. So this flintlock is sort of like a slug shotgun, I guess you could say, um, in a way. Or I guess it's kind of a bulk shot too. Can we see the tracers here? Nah, that's for one bullet. One damage. So it's all range dependent for the flintlock. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the next gun. So we are back. And uh, here we have the next gun. Which is just the flintlock carbine. Or not carbine. Flintlock revolver, my bad. Uh, you can get enchantments on these, by the way. Uh, my enchantments aren't very good, but uh, yeah, that's what you can get. So, this one, it looks pretty small on your back. And it has six shots this time, because it's a revolver. So, 300, 300, 300, 120. Same damage as the other flintlock. Just six bullets, and you can shoot a lot faster this time. I like the sound effects, the sound effects are really nice, honestly. Let's see how far away you can go. Eight damage. It raises significantly though, the closer you get, like the t just the tiniest bit of getting closer, it raises significantly. On to the next gun. The next gun we have is going to be the rifle one, which is just the next one up the ladder. We equip the rifle bullets for this, and we load it up. It only has one bullet, but it does 1,500 damage. It's kind of like a uh, car 98. I wonder, do they get headshots here? I don't think I don't think they get headshot damages. 600, okay, they, they do change damages based on headshots. Yeah, 1800, that's a lot of damage, dude, oh my god. 600, that's crazy. For one shot, that's a lot of damage. These might actually be viable, fighting for some bosses. I'll do some uh, boss gameplay at the, end of the game, at the end of the video. Yeah, this is the, uh, let's see how far away we can go, hold on. Does, does it stay consistent? It does. Ooh, okay, I like the physics they put in here. The mechanics. I wonder how far away we could really go. Let's check it out. Hold on. Let me get these floors out. Also, look at the new way they have where you build the floors. That's kind of sick. Alright, we go back here. No way it still does the same damage from here. This is That's going to be great. Oh, that's the shotgun. Hold on. Oh, we can't even hit them. Hold on. Mm, the effective range is kind of limited. One damage, yeah. 16. So there is an effective range for every gun, I guess. That effective range is a lot more um, on the rifle. Uh, but yeah, there is there's clearly an effective range here. So I think within this range right here, we do 600 to the chest no matter what. Yeah, 600 to the chest no matter what and 1800 to the head. Then once you get a bit further out of that reach, you start to do, you know, 121 damage, you know, stuff like that. So, overall pretty good. 4,500, hold on. That was, cr what? How did I do that much? 1,800, oh, maybe I didn't hit an actual crit. Ah. Uh. I'll let you guys experiment yourselves if you want. I'm just showcasing the guns. But, there you go, right in the face. That's a lot of damage for one shot. Anyways, on to the next gun. So, we are on the next gun. The next gun will be the assault rifle. Number one, obviously. So, we put in the assault rifle bullets. Take it out. It's got 10 shots. I like those sounds, man. How fast can you shoot it? That's super quick. So the rifle does more damage. This one shoots faster, more consistent if you're looking at multiple targets, I guess. What's this effective range? Let's see. Uh, 
Oh, 10 damage. So it's kind of inaccurate. The effective range is slowly wearing off. Kind of inaccurate, yeah, kind of inaccurate. But uh, overall it works. I honestly say that other rifle is better than this one, but the 360 no scope. <laughs> That's a lot of damage though. That's a decent amount. Uh, on the next gun. So our next gun will be the shotgun number one, where we equip the shotgun shells. Two shots, so I'm assuming it's like a double barrel. 150, a bunch of spreads of 150. Not bad, not bad. All right, I'm assuming the effective range on this one's gonna be pretty far away. Or pretty, pretty close, I mean. Yeah, it's already losing its damage. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's more for an up in your face type of thing. Well, I guess obviously it's a shotgun. You cannot use them in midair, by the way. Not bad, not bad, not bad. On to the next gun. This one looks really small on the back, by the way. We will now be getting into the twos. So we're gonna have we're gonna start off with the rifle number two. Equip those rifle bullets. This still only has one shot. Load it up. Eight thousand one hundred damage. Oh my goodness! This damage is nuts. All right, let's go back here. Two thousand seven hundred. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if the effective range is any better on the number twos. It is. The effective range is quite better. That's okay. I like that. That's that's like right about here. About like I'd say like ten tiles away. Not bad. That's a lot of damage. That's like a lot of damage. Holy moly. That's crazy. Does it do damage to buildings? 10 damage, like usual, okay. Normal stuff. All right, let's see what's next. Next gun. Our next gun is the one I've been excited for the most. It's the M16, the assault rifle number two. Let's test it out. We got 20 bullets in the magazine. That shoots pretty fast too. That's a lot of damage. See the headshots? 433. Or 453. Not bad. I can totally see these being like somewhat practically used in um, boss fights. Oh, I should probably be checking if their durability goes down a lot. Uh, I do have a durability mod though that makes their durability go down less, but let's see, 190. Yeah, I think that's just my durability mod. I'm assuming the durability would go down a lot faster though. I think every bullet shot would be like a durability down. This one's quite inaccurate though. Let's see the effective range. Oh, we're being out of ammo. Well, I think that'll be the conclusion of that one, at least. It's okay, it's okay. Now we are on to the final gun, which is the shotgun number two. I'm gonna put the bullets here. It's got five shells this time. Still the same damage almost as the other one. Just a bit higher. I guess the shotguns are quite weak. can hold it down though. I don't know man, the shotguns are kind of weak. I don't anything from behind. Uh, effective range is probably the same too, let's try to test it out. Yeah. It's kind of sad. So, 
Out of all the guns, I'd say the rifle too is probably the best for boss fighting. The saw rifle is probably best for dealing with like large crowds of animals, like the monos and stuff. And the shotgun. I really don't think the shotgun's that good at anything here, dude. Not gonna lie. But I guess, uh, I guess we'll test them out. Let's go test them out in the uh, in the game. Oh uh, yeah, cut to that, I guess, or something. <laughs> So here we are in the actual game. There's the tower rising out of the ground. And let's go shoot some things. That's the most American thing I could ever say. I'm Canadian, by the way, but. Yeah, let's go start with the shotgun. What's up, cows? How you doing? Damn, that kind of kills them, actually. That kind of destroys them. Oh my god. What level cows are these? I feel like high level cows, too. Let's try with some enemies. Where's some enemies at? Uh, let's go in this dungeon. Oh, I should probably get the loot too. Hold on, guys, you gotta get the loot. What if there's a what if there's an Arabian Knight in here? Oh, I finally broke a thousand stones. Oh, there was peace cheese. Not bad. Okay. Pull up the shotgun. Once again. You can reload this with R2, I'm pretty sure. That just one shot him. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's actually so. It's kind of nuts. That damage is kind of okay. Jeez. That does a lot, actually. Also, I figured out with these reward bags, you right-click on them, and you get rewards. Kind of simple, but... Shotgun's not as bad as I thought it was. Alright, let's try another gun. Let's, let's clear this floor with the... Monos. Alright. We're only gonna be trying out the number two weapons, by the way, because the number one weapons, I mean, they're gonna underperform. Obviously, like, obviously, they're not gonna do that much money or do that much damage. And if you're gonna get guns, anyways, I'd recommend, like, and use them, like, actually use them, I'd recommend getting the number twos, anyways. It's just way more bang for your buck, you know? Let's light them up! Oh, that does nothing. Oh, that does nothing. That does nothing. Oh my goodness. Oh, it does, it does a bit of damage when you when you start critting. Ah, oh, yeah, that's kind of bad. I mean, it's not terrible, I guess. It's it's not amazing though. It's just not the best though. Let's try out the shotgun again. Where'd the shotgun go? Oh, that's the wrong one. I need to cook the ammo. Ah! See this. Yeah, it's still kind of bad. I don't know. The guns are. I guess. I guess against like lower level enemies, it won't be that bad. But this is only level six island. Oh my goodness. Forgot that they blew up. Yeah, I mean... I'm not sure, it's not that good. Let's try out the, uh... Try out the rifle. The one-shot machine. Let's see. Not bad. 8,100 damage. I mean, I think the guns are kind of like, there's definitely way better options out there. But if you just want to have some fun, you, can, you know, getting a whole party of people with like assault rifles might be pretty funny. It's certainly not bad, but it's not, you know, it's not the best thing you can get. I mean, it's 
okay. It's okay. I, I'd say it's okay. Obviously, bows with poisonous arrows are better. Like, the hands down, no matter what. I mean, just look at that, damn it. Like, you can't, you can't compete with that. Right? And then this, you know, like, with my talisman and stuff. But I, just, I just, like, instantly almost killed him. Same with this. I mean, I don't know. Your stats don't affect the guns either. Like, your attack stats do not affect the guns at all. Um, so, I don't really know. I, I think it's okay. But, I don't think they're, like, amazing. Let's fight the boss. Let's see what they're doing against a stone golem. Okay. Pull out the rifle, too. Shoot him right in the cart core. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's not good. That's no good. Jesus. 180. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. 3000. It's okay, right? Like, it's nothing terrible, right? But it's. 8000. Oh, that is actually good damage. That right there, if you hit him right in the face, that's pretty good. Oh my god. That's that's okay damage, right? Let's try the assault rifle. If I could unequip it, thank you. So if we light him up in the head, right? That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It really matters where you hit them though. Like it really You can't be you can't be shooting body shots with this gun with these guns. You have to be hitting headshots to do any type of like considerable damage. You cannot be doing body shots. I'll try to beat them just with this just with the guns. Let's get the shotgun out. Quickly. Yeah, that's it's, it's alright. I mean, I am going against an ancient golem, so this might be a bit of a different opinion. Like, but it's still... It's still doing, like... Considerable amount of damage. Oh, crap. I really gotta make my aim and speed a bunch higher. Yeah, and that effective range really, really help, really like messes up with your. Let's get right in his face. Oh, it's not working, guys. I mean, yeah. It's not worth it. No, there's no... It's not worth it here. In, in any situation, it's not worth it. I'm making these guns for damage. You should never be making these guns for damage. Like, why not worth it? I mean, like, if it was cheaper, it'd be worth it. But it's it's not cheap, right? Like, this is expensive stuff. So, overall, I'd say don't make the guns. Um, but we are gonna kill them with guns. Yeah, that's good. If you're gonna make any gun, make the rifle. That's that's all I can say. Make the rifle. This is the one good gun that you could reliably use to do damage to bosses. It's decent enough damage. Yeah, the rifle's good. The rifle's good. Oh shit. 
The rifle, the rifle does good damage. You can also keep your shots. Yeah, the rifle does good enough damage. That's a good gun. Do not make the assault rifle, do not make... Especially for the rifle's ammo, like the ammo for the rifle is pretty easy to make too. Make the rifle. Don't make the shotguns, don't make anything else. Make the rifle, guys. Rifle's not bad. The rifle is really not bad. The uh, Everything else though is not good. Definitely, de definitely do not recommend any of the other guns. Make the rifle, the rifle too. Make those. Let me get some uh, good stuff in here. Oh, fire sword sorter, nice. But yeah. Uh, I guess I'll make a conclusion on the test island. See you guys there. In conclusion, I think that the guns were a great idea and a great addition to the game. I think they really let people. I like having the like the option of having multiple different classes. You can be like an archer, melee, magic. You know, the pet tamer. You can do guns now. But if you really want the best bang for your buck with these guns, do not make the assault rifles or the shotguns. Make the rifles. That's it. Make the flintlock revolver, the rifle, and the rifle too. And make the rifle ammo. That's it. Because the damage that they produce, right? These rifles, the damage that they do, like 8,100 or 6,100 to the head type stuff. 8,100 to the head. The type of damage they do is actually worth it, right? It's it's slightly worth it. And the the damage the assault rifles do and the shotguns do is not. Due to the fact that you cannot change the values of damage based on um, your attack stats, right? And even enchantments, I don't think, actually change anything. I I can only recommend that you use the rifle if you actually want a viable strat to fighting bosses or enemies. They're also quite slow to load, like you have to reload them, and they're really costly. I think the guns are really cool for long time players like myself, but if you're a beginner looking for a class and an option on what to build into, first of all your skills don't even affect this. Like I'm pretty sure there is no skills for guns. There's no skills for guns, right? There is none. And your stats don't affect the guns either. Guns are a standalone option if you, I, I, take, I take it as like a secondary. You have like your magic build, or your your like your um you have your attack build, and you need something range, but you don't want to make a bow. You don't want to use a bow with the toxic arrows, which is the better option, by the way. But you don't want to do that. You could just take a gun, take a rifle too, with a hundred like four hundred rifle bullets, and you could fe defeat a couple monsters. That's that's all I'll say. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments about these guns. I think they're really cool. I think I I like the sound effect. I like the way they made them. Uh, on to where you actually have to make it the gun like you have to make the gun and it's hard to make like an actual gun is hard to make um, I liked it a lot But yeah, let me know what you guys think um, I'm gonna go and uh, Not use these guns <laughs> um, And yeah, I'll uh, See you guys in the next video Bye